What's up everybody, it's Trevor here. Today I'm gonna to be talking about this Vega 56 that came in. So I've already unboxed the card. This is just, it's just a gigabyte version. Um, I was pretty skeptical because it was a foreign item on eBay coming from the Virgin Islands or something like that. And so I was like, yeah, I'll pay this price. It was 420 bucks, which was one of the cheapest at the time. But the caveat was it had $60 shipping since it was international. I was pretty, I was pretty uh, skeptical about it. Didn't know if my bank card would go through because it was a foreign transaction, but it did. And so you will see here, we have taken out the 478 gig and just popped right in the Vega card. So it has two fans on the front. I was trying not to get a blower style purely because I know those run a lot hotter than these dual or triple fan setups. So we have it plugged in, it's running just great. I did have to swap the riser on it for some reason. I didn't really like these uh, parallel minor risers. It liked the cheap Amazon riser instead, which is weird. Maybe that was just a user error. Who knows? Here's the old one. But I'm running into a small issue here. This thing can hash. It can hash very well, but as you'll see later, because we're going to get into the hash rates of this, of this uh, setup over here, um, I'm kind of uh, playing it safe right now, purely because I have a second 1200 watt uh, PSU coming because this one from our adding two, G adding two new GPUs video, it, it's, uh, it's a toast. Uh, needless to say, but I'll explain it, my pr that's my error. I uh, basically had the wrong power cord hooked into the... Uh, wrong gauge power cord hooked into the power supply. It was like a cheap, thin gauge cord, but it needs, since it's 1200 watts, it needs a thicker, I think 14, 12, or 10 gauge power cord. So this thing's being sent back to eBay. The seller uh, honored the warranty, and I'm going to return it and get my money back. But in the meantime, I've already bought another um, power supply, and you'll, there'll be another video on that because I'm going to be swapping this one over to this this is just a, a, a cheaper brand new uh, 600 watt EVGA BQ whatever power supply but it only has enough uh, lanes or enough PCI Express power for one card which is why I have just the 10, six, uh, 1060 on it so once that new PSU comes in I'm going to redo the power management and uh, put this 1200 watt over there and we'll plug the 470 back in and get that hash going but Let's get into what y'all really wanted to see and what I really wanted to um, flex on about is our cheese. Can you turn this around? I don't think we can turn it around. Oh man. Well, I'll just go ahead and read it off for you and I'll turn it around, but be advised, it's gonna be backwards. Uh, be, my office looks so crazy from this angle. But anyways, so the total mining capacity or the total hash the total hash capacity for Autolycos, which is the uh, algorithm Ergo uses, is 356.4 mega hashes a second. I'll point at it. It's right there. It's probably going to be backwards for you all. Maybe, maybe not. Who cares? And uh, we're going to go ahead and break that down. So, in my on my for my AMD cards, we'll see that there's the 580s hitting 60. 570s hitting 66 or 64 for the 580, 66 for the 570, and 178 for the 56. I've seen this go close to 200 if I bump up the core, but here's the problem. When the wattage is up over 200, my my PSU starts having issues. So I think I think that's a oh, I think that's a, a a different type of problem. I think I don't know. Uh, it might be because I'm having I'm having some uh, homebrewed overclocking settings. I've really like just look up a couple cards, uh, Gigabyte RX 56 cards, and what their overclock settings were, and I've just tweaked them to what works for me because those didn't work at this number would be well over 200 the wattage, and I've seen people get close to 185 with just 140 watts. I don't know how they're doing it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. If y'all know. Uh, what what I can do, what I should, uh, what what I can plug into HiveOS. Please comment below if you have uh, had this. But whenever it goes over 200 watts, I get the uh, uh, some type of like GPU temp error, and then the driver fails, and the whole system reboots, and then you get stuck and it hangs, and then I have to manually reboot it. But um, 
but as a total with my 1060, we are making 356.2 mega hash, which is awesome. And so I'm gonna hop over here to Ergo Miners. So I'm just gonna refresh the page. And it says right now we're making 341 mega hash. I don't think that is completely correct because I am also hashing on my gaming computer, which is hitting around 60 mega hash a second. So I don't think this is completely, completely up. Maybe uh, once it comes back up, let's go. There we go. Yeah, I don't think this is completely up to date accurate, but um, we can see down here, yeah, hash rate right now is 294 for the, the AMD rig, about 35 for the 11060. And for some reason on this PC, it's saying it's 28 when, as you can see, previously it's it's been up there. This was probably like the most accurate hour one right here. But anyways, I digress. And uh, so right now, uh, it was hitting, let's pull up calculator. It was hitting that 350 plus this 50, which is 400. It was going to slightly above it. It was like 415, 420. Um, so let's just do 400, for example. And if we plug that into this uh, mining profitability, it says daily that I should be getting netting around 1.2 ergo a day. Um, but that's, that's without counting the um, 470 in the back. So that 470 is gonna add about 44, 47 mega hash. So if I bump it up to 444, uh, when I get that power supply this Saturday coming up, uh, it says we're gonna be mining 1.36 ergo, uh, which, is, which is interesting. I've seen, I've seen different numbers, like with this current setup, I've seen my current hash rate jump all the way up to 435 with just these cards and not the extra 470. And I've seen it drop as low as like 293. So it really, it really varies. Sometimes the hash rate's really high because the difficulty's low. Sometimes the hash rate's low because the difficulty's high. So there's an inverse relationship there. But I am very, very pleased to say that I enjoy this this uh, card, the the uh, Vega 56. And I'm thinking about, um, I'm thinking about getting another one probably sometime in the next couple months. Uh, I think I think it's it's dumb if I didn't get one. Maybe I'll sell the 570 and the 580 and just and just uh, take those profits and put them to a, a Vega 56 or 64 because those seem like uh, a really good bang for the buck card right now. Considering right now you'll pay anywhere from 200 if you win an auction to around 300, 350 or something like that on eBay for a 570 or 580. Well, if you win a decent auction on eBay for a 50, Vega 56 or 64, you could get one for the price of two of those, but it has the power, I mean, it has the hash rate of three cards, and it uses the power of like one or a, what was it, about two cards. So that's not bad, you know, getting the hash rate of three cards, power of two cards, and plus you're freeing up the, P, the uh, PSU from having extra stress, the extra stress from configuring another card on the rig, especially when it keeps crashing, you don't know why. I think the added convenience value is there, but um, I'm having a good time, and that's the update, boys. Stay tuned if you wanna see when I get the new power supply plugged in. I'm gonna make a video on that, and if you hadn't noticed, I moved my mining rig uh, to this corner. It was sitting uh, right over here above my, uh, right next to my gaming computer, but I moved it to that corner, moved my weight rack in, and uh, it just feels better, it looks better, and it keeps the heat and the noise a little bit over there while I have um, meetings and, and when I do things and record. So that's awesome. But if you like the video, like the video uh, and come back for more. See ya.